everyone to another exciting episode of EU, f not EU4, Victoria 2, yeah, we're here in this game again, where I'm trying to, rapidly trying to save my land from being invaded by the Turks, but the Turks have somehow disgraced, not only me, but, well, not really, not really me at all, but I've disgraced the Russian Empire through, I don't even know what they're doing, like, the AI is not smart enough to, just group up their soldiers and then go attack gigantic stacks? I mean, it's not that hard of a concept. <sighs> Anyways, I feel like I feel like sometimes the stupidity of AI makes me Oh, ooh, I can free these guys. Let's get them let's get these guys out of here first. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's a good sign that we've slightly weakened them. Because they wouldn't be able to do that a couple months ago, and it seems like the Russians are finally gaining, finally conquering a lot of this stuff, a lot of the stuff I need them to conquer, and we're and we're just kicking the butt out of most of these little Ottoman armies. Oh, there we go! Finally, some actual decent armies. They better not be getting conquered over here. Okay, it seems like I think they finally got this part under control. Like that—that that seemed pretty stupid. The Netherlands should never be able to land in Mother Russia. That should never. You get out of here. You get out of here right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you get out of here. I'm... Yeah, I also realized that I probably lost my other colonies. Yeah, I lost my other colonies to the uh, Spanish right about now. That kind of stinks. But, yeah, I'm still kind of stranded in terms of militaristically. But at least on this island, they can't really do much. Because I have, like, two soldiers there. And... We've slowly started destroying all of these armies. I finally pushed them out of mainland, um, mainland my land. So now we can just keep moving on. We destroyed some of their land. There we go. Okay, we finally. Okay, now we're finally starting to get ticking war score against them. And uh, I think we finally got all together. Finally got all together. Finally. Okay, and we're finally gonna conquer some more land, Melwar. Get some more stuff from Melwar. Just yeah, more of my Greek land conquering back. Prestige gains, that's nice. Uh, okay, so we finally upgrade to the next tech. I think I'm gonna get some tech, some taxes because we need some taxes right now. Definitely need some taxes. Okay, there we go. Go destroy these guys and then just go down here because I realize we are high on taxation right now. Like, there are more taxes in my country than there have been in almost any others, and we're still losing a ton. Okay, uh, whatever. Whatever you guys need to do. Oh my goodness. Dang, that is a big army. But luckily, I have a bigger army. So let's see. Can I, where can I attack them from? Where are the spots I need to kind of... Okay, they cannot... They can't get through Lamar. They can't get through here. They have to go through here to get to my Athens province. Okay. Most of Russia seems to have conquered this. Yes, now Russia's got under this, underneath control. Okay, we're just starting to like... Okay, yeah, we're just starting to get to taking more score. Battles just cost us so much. But I think that's because Russia, mainly Russia's fault. I mean, we had nothing to do with this. And this... Who's ever factions in, in power right now really does stink. Okay, probably because we have no money. Alright, and yeah, there we go. Now we're seeing the rapid conquest of land we need. <sighs> okay. That makes me feel slightly more happy. No, let's just go attack. Wait, let me make sure this is our best attacker. Attacker, attacker. Okay, this guy's actually pretty good. Let's see, two attackers. That guy's terrible. Two attack. This guy. He's great. Let's, yeah, I'm going to put him in charge. Yeah. And it's already starting to win. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you better start winning. Yeah, there we go. Start winning. Don't. No. No, this isn't lose time. There we go. Okay. Destroy that army before we do anything. Okay, so that we can, like, feel happy that we won some battles. There we go. Destroy the last little bit of their army. And 101 soldiers just joined it. That shouldn't even be a challenge. And we, we conquer back this land. Voila. And we basically occupied all of Turk of Turkestan. And, oh my goodness, you guys are coming in like crazy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is actually my real army. Look at that. 
See? See? What happens when you actually deal with my real army? I come in like a really powerful person. Alright, now it looks like they are all crushed. Most of what we need is now within a complete grasp. We're starting to gain like massive war score against everyone because we're starting to occupy so much land. I mean, the Russians have basically crushed all their men. So I think it's time to demobilize because we don't really need anyone on the front lines anymore. So we can finally start gaining more economy. 50% levels in our power. And now we're actually gaining stuff again. How much debt do we have? 25,000. Not too bad. So, and it seems like most of the Netherlands soldiers have been crushed. We have a decent army over here. We have a great commander over here. Crush him! Crush! Don't you dare lose. Don't you dare lose to the Spanish. It is a sin to lose to the Spanish. There we go. Okay, okay. A much more or less hyper. Now that we've won the Spanish domain, the Spanish, yeah, the Spanish just cannot fight me when I actually have my real army there, but, okay, there we go, we kept all of our land free of the evil Spanish, and most of the Ottoman Empire has been completely and utterly taken over, like, there is absolutely nothing that is not ours. Uh, let's see, National Bank Act, some minimum tariffs. Oh, finally low wages. Yeah, I could do low wages. I don't mind giving you guys something good. Oh my goodness, I like double my economy. Oh my goodness. France, you want alliance. Oh my goodness, this is either too perfect or, well, technically speaking, you guys aren't that powerful right now, so maybe not. No, I'm, I'm gonna guess no. Sorry. We aren't friends yet. <laughs> So, sorry, sorry, friends. We just are not friends right now. Okay, and that finally crushed them out of the way. Um, cut down to size. This demands from Spain. That should be pretty good because then we could uh, do a little bit more stuff. But yeah, we finally, we're finally starting to just annihilate these armies. Um, since that's happening, I might as well go uh, try to go conquer back all my land that I lost down in Ethiopia. That might help my economy a little bit better recover. In fact, my, my economy is starting to recover quite rapidly. In fact, I'm going to start opening up all the factories again so that they can get those bodies working seriously. We need to get our economy back in order. Get right here. Go transport our men right there. Do, 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 Yes, I think I've, I've officially decided that this is actually a good situation. All right, now you guys just go conquer back all this land that we've lost. Alright, and immediately some Spanish soldiers decide, hey, let's go attack them. Okay. I mean, this is the rest of the soldiers that were left behind that we didn't actually, weren't actually just reserves. So, in actuality, we have a big, like, reserved army. That's kind of cool. Okay, so let's repay back all of our loans, first off. Alright, let's, let's start teasing off. Okay, I'm going to tax the rich, actually. Get the poor. We need about 40% taxes from you guys. Uh, no tariffs, very little tariffs actually, poor, we're gonna go down to like 84, there we go. Alright, we have a really good economy set up right now, which is good, let's just get some more historical theory, and yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute, we, yeah, let's get the anti-rationalism, that'll actually increase our power a little bit better, yeah, I almost forgot about that we would get that from this, so it's a good thing I remembered. Good thing I remembered. Alright, yeah, we're gonna reconquer all that land down there in Ethiopia. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Alright. So, it seems like we basically pushed back all the Danish powers. The Danes are just, I, I don't think they're gonna have it. They're just not gonna be able to defeat me anymore. We have all the land we need. Um, I'm hoping before this war ends we can gain just a little bit more land just a little bit more that's all I'm really hoping for That's all I'm really hoping for but will it happen I'm not sure hmm but the Russians are obviously doing their duty the proud and honored duty of destroying whatever forces they can if they could like get in a military access to Prussia they could probably just go in and go uh, destroy the Netherlands themselves Forcing them to be like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore because this is pretty bad. Alright, and it seems like most of my people are starting to recover, so I'm going to get to like 50% taxes for the 
Uh, uh, 39%. Uh, 110%. There we go. 42% taxes for the rich. Because the rich pay for everything. And we could halfway support this one because we do have enough money right now. Emergency taxes. I mean, Empire goes bankrupt. That is a good sign right there. And are those Ottomans white army? Oh, that's not good for them. That is definitely not good for them. But, mm-hmm. We finally... I think this is finally... We're, we're finally breaking through the Ottomans' grasp of power. Which is what we need to do a long time ago. But, you know, I'm glad it's happening now. Because we really didn't need to do it. Okay, we can get down to like... 77% taxes on the uh, rich. I mean, on the poor. That's pretty good, considering I have gone to like 100% just a second ago. But, yeah. Um, France, in terms of militaristic power, still as I expected, they still have not recovered. So, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I switched over to being on the Russian side because, yeah, they're helping me a lot. Um, the people down here are basically, we've almost got back our entire Ethiopian colony. Which is good. There's some kind of crisis going on apparently, but it didn't generate enough income for everyone to like it. So, it seems like it really doesn't work. That's good. Because we need more people helping us out. EXPLOSIONS! BOOM! Okay, hope that didn't shock anyone because I was going to be... I was trying to make that really, really delicate for the people that have really sensitive ears. That's not me though. Okay, it seems like the... You know, I think, if you, I think Egypt, if I had the opportunity, I would so declare war on you. Like, it wouldn't even be, like, hilariously funny how badly I'll declare war on you. And my people are already starting to move into your direction, so... Bye-bye, little troops. Okay. Seems like you guys want to play chase. We can play chase. And boom! Destroy them. There we go. Move my soldiers back up here, and let's go destroy those other, uh... Little Spanish men. Because I hate these guys. Because they keep, like, going back into Egypt to use that as cover. Which is completely, I think, a little bit cheeky, if, in my opinion. Okay, let's go right here. Let's go take over you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, destroyed them all again. Yep, destroyed them. Yes, destroyed them. Okay, go right here. Go. Let's now. Let's go. We conquer back all this land, and yeah, we are doing completely good right now. There is absolutely nothing that could probably ruin this for me, unless by chance the Russians would get out of this war, and then we'd have complete another hysteria. I mean, I don't. If the Russians would get out of this war right now, I don't think we'd be able to last. And I think we can even lower taxes even more. Dang, this is like a good day for the poor. <laughs> like seriously, this is a good day for the poor. They are losing a lot of the taxes that I usually have on them, and they're gaining a lots of luxuries. I mean, how much do we have right now? Do we have any other, like, people wanting something really, really powerfully? No? They all they all really like my government? Sweet! Except for censored press. Which I don't really want to get, because I don't really want people to be politically aware of how badly I treat my people. But, yes. Seems like we've gained most of what we wanted. Okay, yes, finally at a war goal. Okay, I'm going to get... Ottoman Aegean Islands. Yes. The last thing we need, the last stupid thing we need in this, in our conquest of, of the, uh, Ottoman Empire. If we get this and we basically can finally do the event we've been waiting for this entire game, the, uh, Medi Medjia idea, which then gives us, like, cores on everything, gives us, um, national fraternity, it will basically change our entire game plan, which is what we need it to do. But the problem is, is that we need to uh, somehow get past the uh, big gigantic fleet and hopefully and hope that our fleet doesn't die. So what that basically means, guys, is that we're going to have to construct an... Well, let's... I'll be real here. There's probably not many men on this island. So what we just need to do is do a cheeky tactic of trying to um, basically hide past the men. We just need to be long enough so our ships can... Uh, you know, escape the, the the stranglehold that they could possibly have. We just need to land a couple troops on each island, and we should be good. Which is what I think we need to do. Alright, and I almost want to get acceptable wages, because I feel like it's the right thing to do. Because my poor are helping me out so much. They're like being the best poor ever. 
They're not complaining. They're not really like being mad at me. And I just realized I'm a second day power right now. Yes. Okay, this is really good. Like, we are really doing good. This war really is helping us out. So, uh, I wish it was what happened like earlier, but it's a good thing it's happening now. But anyways, we need to keep doing stuff. Seems like we're still encouraging craftsmen in our main area. Which means we could probably build another factory here. What should we build? <laughs> An oil factory. We should totally build that. Now, um... We usually have... Uh, it's, it's sad that most... I don't think we have a... We could try this. I think a, a distilled factory would actually be a pretty terrible idea, but we could try it. Because I have been wrong before about what actually works in this game and what doesn't. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're slowly starting to come up there. We have to finish this war quickly before, um, before, like, the Russians decide, hey, let's get out of this war, we don't need to be in it anymore. <laughs> um, research points, that's good. Impressionism, let's get that. Uh, let's see, does Spain want out of this war? Oh my goodness, they entered the Third Great War, that is not good. Actually... That's good and bad, because I think the, the Russians are already, like, mobilized, so they'll be able to crush through most of this land over here. Which means they probably will get to over here pretty quickly, which means we could actually see the end of this war pretty quickly. Which will be good. Alright, so maybe it's not a bad idea. Okay, but we're gonna try to create some, some ships, so that we can go over here. And since I can see most of the coastline, I know where most of the ships are, so we don't have to worry about you know, surprise ship attacks, and it seems like they're not attacking my colonies, which are good. Um, okay, we got three ships right here. How many do we need? We need three. That's all we need. Let's get right here, get on, get on the ships, get out to sea just a little bit. Okay, get unload. Yeah, get on, get on, go, 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 get, get on land, get on land. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, now get back on, get back in the seat. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there we go. We got our first little, like, guy out there on the sea. Or trying to, trying to conquer some Ottoman land. It's, it's one of the main islands that we have to take once we take this one. I think we're, we're almost there. We just have to take it, though. That's the only problem is that it's going to take a little bit. Just give us a little second. There we go. Get back on, get our soldiers back on, get on the boats. Uh, realistic culture, quantum culture, let's get these guys on here. Any other help I can get? Oh my goodness! How did you guys get an army over here? No matter, my commander will be able to defeat you, but in the meantime, let's go see if we can... Okay. What? Oh, that's why. I was like, why can't I move? Why can't I move? Okay. I'm at least two spaces away, so they can't... Yeah, they can't get to me unless they do a little jumpy jump so I think I'm safe yeah they're not coming after me either so let's get that let's get these guys on there all right there we go all right final island we need to conquer okay you guys try to go save that island but oh no 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 yes oh yes yes finally we did it Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Huh? Wait, what? Have natural fraternity? Does that mean I need a specific, like, ideal? Or... What is that? Huh. Hmm. Okay, so I need I need to have a national fraternity. Okay. I'll be right back, people. Uh I, I don't honestly know what that is. Cheese production, by the way, so that I'm done being a little tiny state. But anyways, I don't know what that is. I don't know what they're trying to get at in this game. It's probably something really, really simple that I'm overlooking, but I think we're going to have to wait till next time, guys. <laughs> I thought we were going to do it this episode, but it seems like next time I will be able to... I'll figure... Basically, guys, I'll figure this all out between now and the next episode about what I need to do to, like, figure out to form this mighty nation that I'm trying to form, and 
Seriously, next episode, we're going to be forming the nation, and we're finally going to get into this game's meat and grindy stuff. Because we're finally, you know, past the point of being a little nation, and finally to the point of being a small, little, independent nation. Well, being an independent nation, basically. So, I'm happy of that. I want to see you guys next time, though. So, yeah, don't forget to come back, by the way. See you guys next time.